everybody, welcome back to the Venus Wars! Enemies are at the desert point. The Kite Force denies entry into that region. Approaching will result in a battle, but you can't turn back now, says Captain Sims. Alright, Captain Sims, and there's only one more thing to do. We must advance and destroy. What's this? I Ishtar's monsters destroyed all of our land. Gradually we'll rebuild, so don't worry about us. However, you'll still need to travel to other lands and liberate them. I get the feeling that the Japanese version said something a bit more descriptive, but... Okay, go and liberate them, people! I remember that there was giant tanks in the anime version, the movie. There was these giant three-barreled tanks, and... Oh, that, that looks like to be one of these monstrosities. They were giant tanks that had, like, three barrels, and, like, multiple turrets and stuff. Uh, it was pretty cool. Anyways, and we have, um, MS-type. Gauge-type MSs. Mobile suits. Are we fighting Gundam? Mobile suits. Queen land type FAs. And guns type battle tanks. I don't think I... Do, did we fight guns before? I know we fought, uh... Or no, I'm not sure if we fought any of these. Well, so this should be all new. I am interested to see what fighting the Admiral A1 type TT is about. Should be pretty cool. Alright, so... Uh, because we don't know much about this engagement, let's move forward and try to engage upon our own terms while we still have a chance. The, the Flyers move seven, impressive and daunting. I am going to need to take them out before they get to my carriers, or they will give me some grief. Four movements. Okay, so I can still outrun the gauge-type mobile suits, but I wonder if the mobile suits can move over different types of terrain. I, I would think that because they have legs, they wouldn't have much trouble traveling over uh, diverse terrain types. But what do, what, I, what, what do I know? We'll move up here. And we've effectively created a wall for our carriers. Of course, I also walled off Mary. I should have I should have moved uh, Mary before Hanako. But th th this is all going to work out. And I've got carts just skirting along the edge. Uh, he's going to be out of combat for a little bit, but... I guess uh, he's he, he's doing something. He's he's flanking. It's a flanking maneuver. I I'm <laughs> clearly thinking this all out very very well. Okay, good. The aircraft are engaging Miranda. They are not engaging my carriers. That's the most important thing. Okay, so what are these like? Oh, he he shoots at me and then he runs away. Get back here, you coward! All right, fine. I'll just use my rockets on you. That that makes things a bit more difficult. Okay, yes. Now you're flying above me. There we go. All right. All right, <laughs> freaking cowards! <laughs> he buggered off. Ow. Okay. Miranda has gotten a free life. Luckily, Miranda is fairly tough, but I did get her scratch in it. I will not buy this racer. It is scratched. Ouchie. Miranda's gonna need to be careful. Okay. Well, good job, Miranda. You eliminated that unit very quickly. You got injured. You're gonna need to move back, but. That was, that was a, that was a good elimination. I just, I did good on the killing parts. And they also spawned fairly, at a fairly good pace, so. I'm, I'm pleased, I'm pleased with this so far. Alright, who wants to take on some aircraft? I think Manuel is ready for some more experience. We all know that Manuel's going to become the ultimate fighter. Yes, Manuel, you are going to become the ultimate character. I can see it now. <laughs> the, the, the way we talk, he's going to be the Lord of Dark... I fired that missile a bit late, didn't I? Okay, well... I think I think that missile chased him down and got him eventually. And the speeders have changed. The speeders have changed in color and... Uh, they're still worth one experience, but the speeders look more intimidating, don't they? Those sand speeders. Yeah, you fly above my head. Okay, I fired that. Okay, they killed that. Oh, no! Okay, okay good. The missile almost hit that, that, that aircraft. Oh, missile... Will is doing terrible with his missiles right now. I'm firing my missiles as like a last ditch option, but I'm firing them just a bit too late. Oh well, not the greatest missile work here. Yeah, we're not going to be eliminating this unit, but at least we'll be in good condition. Go ahead and fire off your missiles, Will. We'll try to take out the remaining aircraft in the time we have allotted to us. Okay, well, I didn't mean to hit that one, but it worked anyways. It is really hard to snipe the aircraft. It's easier to hit the aircraft when it's right above you, when you've leaned all the way back. Okay. 
Ah, and the attacker. The attacker is pushed away. And the defender remains in place. So, if Chris fails to attack, uh, or to attack, fails to take down on this attack, this aircraft, he'll be pushed back here. Which will keep the aircraft out. So, tactically, I think this is a good decision. I'm down to nine energy. Bit of a concern. There's only two aircraft, so I think Chris will save all his missiles. And just try not to get hit. You can take your time on this one, Will. Or Chris, I mean. Alright, fight one. Real simple. But now the wall has a gap. I think we can close this gap. So tactically, if Will moves like this, he'll be pushed back here if he fails. Go ahead and take him down, Will. Uh, you're, you're at 7 GMIs, so go ahead and launch a few of those. Oh, I, the terrain's different because we're on a slightly different type of terrain. That's cool. It's only it's only a slightly different tone, but still, it's kind of neat. It'd be cool if there was actually, like, hills or something, but... Or maybe the background's different, but... You know, it's still too early in games. I fired them as late. It's still a bit early in games for, for them to actually ha have different terrain when you engage in different battlefields. So. They, they just didn't think about that. They... Will's getting quite powerful. He will become the ultimate character, I can see it now. Will and Manuel are obviously the best characters in this game. It's, I believe that's what the, the movie was all about, those two characters, because I don't re seem to remember. Oh, we only have five seconds left. We, have, we shouldn't have let that one get away. Will, no, you've let us down. How could you? Oh well. Yes, so we'll end up over there, which means that it's convenient for Ito to move up. Yes, I was thinking about things. If I engaged him directly from the bottom, then Ito would not be able to move in like this. Alright, Ito's got plenty of energy and plenty of time. Get back here, you coward! That hit-and-run strategy is actually pretty smart. It's kind of a shame when Nintendo opponents have better AIs than some of the games we have today. I feel like... AI is not something that we have given a, put a lot of stock into, given much attention to throughout video gaming. Ah, crud. They're all doing the hit and run. You get back here. Ow. Stop doing the hit and run and fight like a man. Alright, fine. I will have to use some missiles. I just need to kill one AEN. One more. I can spare one missile for this. Missile! Die, you bastard. Alright, fight one. Nine seconds left. <clears throat> Alright. Hero, go get that mobile suit! Oh, you can't quite reach. Okay. Well, uh... Just advance. Just advance. And take on all... Take on all takers. Service all takers. And if anyone wants a fight, you'll give it to them. Mary! Move up. Hanako. I want you to... Oh yeah, you can move up like this, that's fine. Miranda, cover that flank. Jeff, just move up, you're late. And Karts, get out there. You've got 15 energy left. But hopefully somebody will fight with you. Who wants to fight with Hero? I wonder, since that thing is the boss, if I take it down, will I automatically win the battle? And if I do, will... Is that something I want to do? Because that will give me less experience overall. I'm not sure. Uh, but let's just do some of our other engagements first. Alright, Will. Take out these tanks. It takes two bullets to take these down. It's not so bad. Oh, three. Four? Okay, that one took a shitload. Okay, I thought uh, the first tank I shot went down in one hit, but now they're taking a ton of bullets. Wow. Okay. That's kind of rough. I should be using my missiles. I should be using my missiles. Guys. Missile! Alright, missile still is one shot. But yeah, attack power is now a serious issue with these guys. They are very tough. That is very, very tough. Whoa, he almost got me with a cannon shell. These tanks are getting very, very, very tough.
I have to roast them. I have to just really lay into them. Okay, well. Two enemies escaped Will's wrath. That's fine. The main thing is Will is still is in good health. He only has two energy, though, so he's not going to be doing much movement. All right. Who wants to fight some mobile suits? I think uh, Jeff does, but he can't quite get there. Eh. Miranda is still going to refuel and rearm. Ito. I guess also block the path of the mobile suits so they don't attack the carrier. Chris, move up, get some action. Manuel. I think, if you hang out near the carriers, will you get healed? I don't know. Let's just have you move up like this. Miranda will be covering both the carriers. Now I wonder, do I move Hanako, or Hanako back and move Mary up? I wonder if Miranda takes this position next to both these carriers, will she be getting double serviced? Hopefully. Don't really know. Carts! Get in there, it's time for you to destroy some mobile suits. It's mobile suit Gundam time. What? They're, they're bouncy, okay. That makes some of the harder hits. They're, they're pogo stick men. They're like those, they're like the sun and the moon and the clouds and the, what was it? One of the Monty Pythons. Stay up. There's a Monty Python skit where the clouds and the sun are all, like, jumping up and down repeatedly. Stay up! Stay up! It was, it was silly. <laughs> Anyways, it makes them mildly annoying. You have to fire at the right time or just spam bullets. Right. Ow! Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna missile you. You jumped my missile! Okay, yeah, these guys are annoying. They are annoying, I must admit. It makes, it makes shooting them slightly more annoying. Yeah, they, they, the jumping strategy seems to have helped them get a... Oh, I, did, I just, did I just ramp a, a mobile suit? I didn't know you could... And I, I shot a snow speeder with a rocket. Okay. I think I just ramped... I didn't know you could ramp over things. All right, Hero, do you want to fight the boss right now? I mean, I guess you should take a whack at him. Why not? All right. If this ends the battle early, then that's a shame, because I'll get less experience, but... Whoa, okay. It is a big tank. This is, this is weird. Where are we fighting from this view? This is new. Okay. I, so what's a, a missile acts like that, okay. This is, this is very surprising. This is, this is completely different. So I just, uh, am I doing, I am doing damage, okay. I'm doing damage, but there are parts I can rip off. Okay. Well, that's, yeah, just, just, just shoot the crap out of it, then. Just shoot the crap out of it, don't, don't worry about, ow, don't worry about, wow, <laughs> that really, really hurts. Gotta be careful, the main, really being shot by the main gun of a tank like this should just be a game over. Yeah, all you have to do is just shoot it in the side like crazy, that's not so bad. I just didn't realize I was doing damage, I thought I had to hit weak spots. Destroyed, okay. So that's it? Do we win? No, okay. I thought killing the boss might be a victory. Well, it is a victory. That's, that was actually not so bad. I mean, Hero has incredible attack power, so... Uh, it was a bit of a surprise that it was a different fighting style, though. Okay, Chris. Yeah, you destroyed that tank rather easily. Is it because Chris has that much more attack power? Chris is on level 3. Wow. Attack power really does make a difference. Okay. Well, yeah, Chris can just melt through these tanks like no problem. I think it was Will. Will was having a problem with these tanks, but... Alright, well, this this battle looks like it's pretty much a done deal. Not too much to worry about here. See you, tank. Fight one! That was pretty easy. What are you gonna do, mobile suits? Oh, you wanna fight Jeff, do you? Actually, that might not be the best fight. This might not be the best parry, considering mobile suits are pretty good at... Uh, let's see how good at, uh, mobile suits are at evading missiles. Did he evade the missile, or did I shoot him with the gun? I think he evaded the, the, the missile, but I shot him with the gun. Well, it's still a good backup. Jeff is still going to use his missiles, whether or not they're going to work. We'll, we'll, we'll thoroughly test how effective missiles are against... Eh, they seem relatively effective against mobile suits. But mobile suits are pretty good at evading them. If I fire the missiles when they're closer, 
That, that missile... Oh, I think I just fired hit with a bullet. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, if I fire the missiles as a last-ditch scenario sort of thing, like when I'm about to miss him. Well, unless he gets too close. Nice! <laughs> it, it works out pretty well. So Jeff has got another level. Fire the, the missile! Oh, dang. Okay, I got him? Okay, ouch. But, I mean, ouch, because I got hit, hit at the end, but it works. You get back here, mobile suits. Don't you run away from carts. All right, carts, just go for this nearby tank. It's a me, a carts. A Mario carts. A penis carts. Carts have pretty good attack power, right? Yeah, he can he can smoke these tanks like no tomorrow. Bang, bang. Oh, they're doing the hit and run! I don't like it when enemies do the hit and run. That's... that's cowardly. And it takes a long time. Ow. Damn, sand speeders. A lot of sand speeders. Just more experience for me, though. I feel like my accuracy is getting pretty good now. I, 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 every time I play this game, I feel like throughout the session my accuracy kind of starts low but slowly works up as I get the feel for the game again. All right, hero, I know you're gonna be good at these battle tanks. Just get in there and rip them apart. I still have seven GMIs as well, so I'll just chuck those out when I need them. Bang! Bada boom! Bada bing! Tango. You don't even get a chance to shoot me. No one gets a chance to shoot me. Not even tanks. Well, the tanks get a chance to shoot me. There's no stopping hero. Despite the fact that I took uh, a shot from the main the main cannon of ow, of that large, large tank. <laughs> Which really really makes things surprisingly I'm ow, alive. One A and left, 15 seconds remaining. Alright, battle one. Alright, Karts is used up. Jeff, with the missiles, likes to fight the mobile suits. Two missiles, two mobile suits. We can make this happen. Fire the missile! Uh, oh, ow, ow. Okay. Ha ha! <laughs> nice. Oh, I like it when that happens. Okay, Ito! Will you, or will Will? Eh, Will's already on level 4. Let's let Ito handle this one. Or should... Is there someone who's installed level 2 that deserves more... Miranda! Miranda deserves this fight. Miranda, get in there. I want to spread the love. Spread the experience. We can't let Miranda fall behind. Yeah, the considerably... Considerable num more bullets... A considerable number more bullets are required for Miranda to take these tanks. But you've got a full pack of missiles and you're going to use them. One enemy, missiles to spare. I fired that one off early and it worked just fine. All right. She did not gain a level from that though. So the honors go to Manuel. Oh, that's right, he's got no missiles left, but that's okay, Manuel can do this. Mobile suits are no match for Manuel. He's got a lot of health now. Does everyone get this much health or is it just, just the toughness of Manuel? The resilience of Manuel. Ow. Doesn't matter. This is probably one of the last fights I'll be engaging in. Don't need to think long term anymore. Okay, fine. <laughs> it's funny that they make a motor noise when they pass me by. <laughs> it's, it's still using... <laughs> everything uses the equivalent... Ow! The equivalent of a, like a two-stroke motorcycle engine. <laughs> That's what it sounds like, passing you by. <laughs> Even... I don't know. It's, it's the idea that... I wouldn't expect... What, what was that? Was that a two-stroke... Two cylinder, uh, two cylinder motorcycle? No, that was a mobile suit. <laughs> mobile suit, yeah. Really? Yeah, that's that's. What's the sound of the future? What what's the sound that a mobile suit makes on Venus? <laughs> okay, if you say so. I mean, what do I know? <laughs> All right, mission complete. That was fun and surprising that, that there was a difference. It's cool that bosses have a different perspective. That was actually rather surprising. The Ishtar army has attempted to suppress the citizens of Eo. 
water supply now uh, water su EO water supply now the villager now the villagers want to get a, it his back as quickly as they can all right captain sims said trippingly by captain sims he is so flustered by the fact that they would do this to the water supply he has he has relatives in the area so you, you've got to understand he's just just flustered with emotion <laughs> All right, well, nice save. Anyways, thank you for watching this episode of The Venus Wars. I'm going to save the game. Save state. Next save slot. State 3 saved. All right, so thank you for watching this episode of The Venus Wars. If you enjoyed it, uh, well, that's good. I'm glad you did. And I'll see you next time. Good night, galactic citizens.